Court is in session. Today's case, Walker v. Walker. The plaintiff claims defendant stole a diamond necklace. Defendant, how do you respond? I didn't steal it. She gave it to me. I remember because when I told Rosario, she said, that doesn't sound like your drunken witch of a stepmother. Exactly. She knew it was out of character for me. <laughs> Judge, I'd like to call Rosario to the stand. Rosario's dead. Oh, that one's always got an excuse. I would like to bring to the court's attention that she doesn't even know who's dead or not. I let you borrow that necklace because I was being nice like I always was. Objection. Sustain. Oh. Based on what? I know you. I was nice. What about the time you grounded me for drinking? A lot of parents do that. For not drinking enough? <laughs> what kind of sixth grader can't finish a shot? I mean, Jägermeister, it's practically like candy. I give it out for Halloween. You're both mixing up your personal issues with the legal one. Now, defendant, it sounds like there was an expectation that the necklace would be returned. Don't get your foot caught in the escalator and expect me to take the stairs. Good one, sir. I'm not giving it back. Do you see how spiteful she is? Rotten kid. She probably doesn't even know where it is anymore. I know where it is. No, you don't. I do too. Then where is it? Know your business. Defendant, answer the question. Where's the necklace? I'm wearing it. Well, I must be flying a kite in the rain because this just got electric. She stole my necklace. I demand biblical justice. Cut off her hair. <laughs> She's trying to take back something she already gave me, which used to be called Indian giving, but has yet to be given a new culturally acceptable name. The property law in question here is pretty black and white. I've had this necklace since high school. She could have asked for it back any time. She's doing it now for spite. That might be true, but again, it's not a legal argument. I'm sorry, Olivia, but I'm gonna have to find in favor of Karen. It's been in her family for generations, and it was a gift from her mother. And I thought it was a gift from my mother. What did you just say? Nothing. Did you just call me? Just forget it, okay? Fine. It's forgotten. So is class over, or? <laughs> no, it is not over. Screw this. Look, look, yes, the law is black and white, but emotions are not. People are complicated. You know, we, pre we pretend to be motivated by one thing when really it's something much more personal. Like me. I mean, this whole Judge Judy thing, I, I only did it because my feelings got hurt by a few negative reviews. But none of you knew that. I'm pretty sure everybody knew that. <laughs> the point is, James, Sometimes if you get to the bottom of an emotional conflict, the legal dispute takes care of itself. Olivia, I've known you since you were a child, and Karen, you're my friend for 20 years. This isn't about a necklace. Talk to each other. I don't She want. started it. Come on. I can see you want to be in each other's lives. Now, there's a source for this hurt between you. What is it? She never called me after she found out about the divorce. She cut me out of her life completely, blamed me for everything. That's not true. I know you and my dad were both at fault. And maybe I should have been the bigger person, but isn't that the parents' job? Why didn't you call me? I dropped my phone in the toilet. Battery got wet, it was a whole thing. Karen. I was scared, okay? And what do you want to say to each other now? Do you really think of me as your mother? Our real mom died when I was so young. And our house was the saddest place in the world. And then you came and you were so glamorous and full of life and vodka. <laughs> it was like that part was finally over. Honey, I never knew you felt that way. I always wanted to be with you. I wanted to be you. Aww. Listen, I want to give you something. 
It's a little bit of a tradition in our family. Between mothers and daughters. I bet it's the necklace. <laughs> now, I'm gonna tell you the same thing my mother told me when she gave it to me. Shove it up your butt till we get through customs. <laughs>